long time ago, a man told his wife that he would make her something beautiful. What resulted is everything you see right behind me. A historic place and an important part of El Paso's history. This is the story of Casa de Azuca. Rufino Loya, a man that would spend most of his life working for Levi Strauss, would retire in the early 70s. Mr. Loya would begin his project in the year 1973. He would start by chiseling the sculptures out of cement and painting them. It wouldn't be long before he completely fell in love with this little passion project. Many of the beautiful sculptures have Catholic and Christian themes. Mr. Lawyer was inspired by the Catholic churches that he grew up around as a young boy in Mexico. Many of the sculptures would take him hundreds of hours to make. Like this shrine right here that depicts several angels surrounding Jesus of Nazareth. This shrine took him nearly 300 hours of meticulous carving and painting to create. Each piece of art was created with some sort of meaning in mind. Around the home, you'll find a memorial to the 350th anniversary of El Paso, as well as a memorial to those lost on 9-11. The Casa de Azúcar, or Sugar House, in itself is a tribute to El Paso. Although Mr. Lawyer was just doing something that he loved, this place would soon become a part of El Paso's history. Many visit the Sugar House for different reasons almost like a pilgrimage to see the beautiful Christian sculptures that were created by a single man. We truly wanted to experience this incredible place for ourselves, so we began to explore the area. the noise from the highway. This is beautiful. Really, really incredible. I mean, look at that. I'm continuing to walk. And this is just really, really beautiful. Pretty noisy because the highway is right there. Man, just look at this. Now we're moving on. Down here. Next side. I do apologize for all the noise from the highway. These sculptures are incredible. They are 
beautiful. Wow, look at this. this place. Absolutely beautiful. Well, looks like we're at the end here. Really, really cool. There truly is only one word to describe the Casa de Azúcar. Beautiful. It is an incredible place, and it cemented itself as part of El Paso's cultural history. And it's a location that will never be forgotten. Truth can deceive In the absence of hope The faith that you fear You pull it so near Famous, now historic place here in El Paso. This is the story. You know what? I don't know how to pronounce it.